na this confirmation hearings ambazo zinaendelea uh, at the Hague sasa hivi yeah trial ijaanza kwanza they are just doing confirmation hearings so that you keep pass so they can go into trials sawa sawa eh na nataka kujua that's the topic that we're discussing today na wangapi wetu wamekuwa waki follow the ICC proceedings nimekuwa nikifuatilia kwa sababu ni jambo la kitaifa tuko na IDPs kwa camps na watu ambao maisha yao yaliharibiwa na post election violence kwa hivyo international interest and I'm part of the nation ana mimi i was interested ku au kwenye watikosi hizo violence at least wakuwe punished sababu sasa hizi kuna watu wengi wako homeless sasa mimi i lost their parents nimekuwa nikifuatilia kwa sababu ningependa kuona haki ikitendeka upesi iwezekanavyo kwa maana 2012 ndio ile karibia ningetaka iwe fuzo yale alitendeka yasirejelewe tena watu wale wadogo ndio wanaumia na wakubwa stiru wako wako pamoja wote lakini sisi wadogo hata kama ni hiyo kampeni tunawafuatilia tunawapatilia kuwapigia hizo kura alafu ndaika mwisho wengi wanaumia unaona kweli hmm. kama justice itafanyika Najua hao watu wote wakubwa hakuna ule hakufanya makosa karibu wote. Kwa hivyo unaona kama inaweza kufanyika kote. Sio kama hivyo. Watakuwa tu hivyo ishie tu. Siwezi sema kwamba justice itafanyika ama haitafanyika. Kwa sababu bado tuko kwa preliminary stages za hiyo trial. Lakini kile ambayo ambacho nafurahia ni kwamba wa Kenya hatujazoea hii maisha ya kuulizwa swali kwa kile ambacho ulifanya inaitwa accountability lakini sasa hii at least tunaona a minister anaweza kaulizwa swali kwa nini ulifanya hii kwa hivyo nafurahi kwa sababu ni mtindo mpya ambao ina, inakuja watu wanaanza kuogopa okay nikifanya kitu kibaya lazima nikuwe tayari kuulizwa maswali Okampo anasema kuna evidence na anasema pia kuna witnesses unaona kama evidence yake kweli ni sufficient It's it's good enough kwenda trial na kweli justice kusaviwa. Mwisho wa justice itafanyika kwa maana Mungu yuko. Inawezekana uh, ambao wameshtakiwa wengine wako na uwezo, wako na lawyers, lakini baadaye mi naona mwishowe ushahidi utapatikana ambao ni litosha kabisa. I'm not sure. Sababu uh, when you were there kwa Hague there was some more ministers and MPs. They also contributed in this violence but wao hawajaenda huko. Kwa hivyo mimi naona inaweza tendeka but sasa justice haijatendeka kabisa sababu wote wa ongefaa wa kuanzarabu. What do you think should be done? Kwa hao watu ambao jina zao zime come up. It's hard to say sababu tunajuanga vile watu wakubwa their cases zinapelekwa hivi but ingekuwa ile common wananchi ala uibe tu kuku <laughs> unapelekwa hata unafungwa but sasa hiyo it's hard to say but I also believe that justice kwa Mungu itakuanga. Hakuna vile tuseme Moreno anaweza kuja huku akawa hapana kusema there is some people who did this and that na akawapeleka then aseme tu ataachiliwa hivi. So lakini nasema wenye wamebaki juu kuna wengine wali participate in those ni ni lakini hawakueda wafukuliwe huku. Okay, hata kama ni local tribunal wafukuliwe huku. Ukiona Kenya ah kweli hakuna haki. Even ukiangalia the court system sioni haki ikitendeka unaona mpaka hadi wa sasa hakuna lolote limefanyika hakuna mmoja ambaye amekuwa tried kwa yale uh, walitekeleza katika post election violence kwa hivyo hata tuanzishe tribunal sioni ikifanya iki, 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 iki ikitenda kazi vizuri for local tribunal iweze kuwa effective lazima kuwe na political goodwill hata ukisema mutunga mutunga amekuwa fronted by politicians na tunaona kina kuna wabunge wengine pia wametajwa kwamba upi alifanya hii alifanya hii kwa hivyo mimi naonelea kwamba wa Kenya ungekubali tungesameheana na hii yeah. hii mambo yeah. the, the root cause kwanza kwa kwa mfano ukiangalia ile Rift Valley haikuwa really mambo ya election tunajua mambo ya land na land is not only in Rift Valley hata Nyanza wapi kumekuwa na issues za land cost kumekuwa na issues za land election ilikuwa tu ndio sasa ile trigger Una kama kusameheana na kusema okay let's bury that hatchet let's move on kweli is that e- e- enough considering ya kwamba ni kama we don't learn from our past Okay kusameheana imaanisha kwamba justice isifanywe 
because hakuna pia kusameheana bila justice sita kusamee kama hujakubali wewe ndio ulifanya uh, kwa hivyo wakubali alafu tuwasamee lakini tusiwapanish uh, wanaweza pewa punishment kama Rwanda wale wa basi hiyo siku wasamee hiyo siku wasamee ni msamaha kwa mfano Rwanda kama ulichoma nyumba ya mtu unasamewa lakini unaambiwa unaenda kujengea huyo mtu nyumba na Mungu unaona kama anaweza kuwasemea kweti anaweza kusemea au na wale bando wanasafa I'm not getting this money by kusema kusemewa <laughs> unasema kila nani wasamee okay maybe i can explain uh, father kusamea imaanisha kwamba we overlook the issue kusamea ina maanisha tunakuja chini kama wa Kenya tunakubaliana ya kwamba shida zetu kama wa Kenya haikuto haikuanza 207 <laughs> kwa sababu sasa hivi umesikia mama hata akisema ya kwamba saa hii wale ambao walikuwa in the opposing camps tunaona wengine wako pamoja 2012 ndio inakuja shida zetu hazikuanza juzi zilianza makitambo so according to you shida zetu specifically ni gani hizo unasema zenye zipo shida za wakenya imekuwa ni ukabila yeah. ya kwamba kila kabila inataka ikue katika kiti na wakiwa pale ni kunyakua kabila zingine zinaingiwa na ile chuki ya kwamba au wamenyakua sasa wakati wetu ikifika pia tafanya nini tutanyakua hiyo ndio shida kwa hivyo lazima tukae chini tuji, tujiulize tutagawa mali ya taifa namna gani so that each tribe isione kwamba lazima tuwe kwa state house ndio tupate nini resources tukirudi kwa kesi pia tena um, one witness who is number 8 witness number 8 ni mtu ambaye alikuwa na abuse alcohol na cigarettes na ni mtu amekuwa participate in election violence kutoka 92 So, unaona is it about time that these uh, witnesses were unmasked? Tuone ni akina nani? Asi wa unmasked kwa sababu unaona kesi ya ya, ya, ya Ruto na, na Henry Cross Gaze imeendelea. Sasa wengine wamebaki wataangalia vile inaendelea. Na waone wale witness Okambo wame amewaleta wajue jinsi ya kujidefend. Naona kwamba Okambo kwanza asiwatoe hadharani. Na unaona kama witnesses ni wa credible. Yeah. Wow, kambo. Eh, ukisikia tu ni angalia, nikikuja niki nikwambie, mm. unajua nani? Nani alisema ati wewe unafanyanga hivi CD? Lazima utaniuliza nani? Nani mpaka ujue nani amesema hivyo, si ni kweli? So, Okambo anafaa kuonesha witness ni huyu, si ati namba 8, namba 7, kwani ni matatu ya kwenda mali. Waseme jina yao na you Kuna kitu witness protection. Kuna kitu witness no, protection. But they should tell us who they are. Hakuna vile unaweza unaweza kuja kukuambia ati fulani ameniambia tukumbuke kwamba hii kesi iko mara mbili kuna the first accused Ruto Koske na Sang alafu kuna uhuru Mudaura na Ali uh, Ocampo is building his case kwa hivyo anaweza akai approach vile anataka. Jambo lingine ni kwamba kuna hiyo witness protection. Tuseme kwamba huyo witness namba 8 anakaa Eldoret saa hii. Tunajua vile the truth be told is here zime. There is a lot of uh, tension and emotions have piled up. Tunasikia hata kampo alipotoka kwa court akakuwa interviewed na Kas FM na Jeff Koinange. Akasema time is coming. I will do all that sasa hizi tu niku sema the case that i have against this people kuna pahali ambapo anasema uh, kuna revenge attacks eh, ambazo zikuwa zinaplaniwa state house na mm. Nairobi club na uhuru alikina uhuru alikuwa involved okay so zina kama but hata ukisikiza ukisikia tu vinyume semekana kama kina mudhaura uh, some cult members na uhuru ati walikuwa state house wakipanga hizi revenge attacks kweli kuna kitu inaweza kaendelea state house na kibaki ajue uh, the president asijue ama pre, ama raila ama watu ambao wako involved wasijue and if that's the case basi kwa nini hawa watu wote wasiweko kwa bando wa god moja wapelekwe state of sea heaven that's number one kwa hivyo tusijidanganya kwamba kuna mambo ufanyika uh, mambo mabaya hizi fanyika state house and also pia sehemu ya kwamba ilifanyika lakini kile nataka kusema ni kwamba by the fact that kibaki na raila walienda bunge wakasema tufanye hiki tu hapa Kenya inamaanisha walikubali ya kwamba uh, violence ilifanyika si ndio by the fact that walikubali ku sign hiyo agreement ya kwamba to share power inamaanisha walikubali violence ilifanyika hakuna kitu naweza fanyika na wajui wanakuwa wanajua everything they know kweli mnaona kwamba ICC what is going on right now 
that's enough or do we need to do more? We need to do more. Kwa sababu hiyo ya kesi ya ICC ina involve watu sita. Na ukiangalia jinsi tumesema shida ya Kenya ni mambo kama ukabila. Ah tukiangalia na kubadilisha mambo kama na kuondoa ukabila, kuondoa ufisadi Kenya mambo yatakuwa sawa. Wenye wali kata watu. Eh hey, wenye wali au wali watu wali kata watu au wenye those who did those in Audi wanafanya wanafaa kufanya nini? Audi wanasema wafanye nini wa hukumiwa huko lakini wenye wako huko ndio judio walichochea au wafanye hivyo. Then Audi wanafaa kwanza kuodolewa ndio wasiwae chochea watu wengine hivyo. Ni kitu likai nafanya political. Naona kama vile Moreno saa unaweza jiuliza mbona alikuja ali, eh, the time or the Indonesia alikuwa mbele anafanya nini? Eh, waki eh, eh, waki endelo osoldi 10 suspects still yeah. na jua hiyo where the people eh, ah wengine yeah. wanne wako wapi nikaa kuna kitu ili ili happen kati ya, ya Moreno Campo na Kibaki na Rai hata mimi namshuku sana eh <laughs> kwanza mimi naitwa O Campo acha kaone your story this is only justice na hayo ndo maoni ya watu hapa kwa matatu kwa sasa tunaenda kwa streets kutafuta ma suspects wengine Yeah, was streets Let's then we take right them back. to hex ndio yes yeah matatu na homba akitendeke akitendeka ni jambo la maana kwangu sa. sana manake kilio cha mkenya kwa maoni yangu ninaona hiyo kesi ni kama haitakuwa na ushahidi wa kutosha wale hawajoni nao majaji sama nini so kama uko na makosa wata kwa charge na kama wana makosa wataachiliwa si kwa wala watu watatu wali, walienda kule Ajao nao ni lugha mo, moja. Na hapa Nairobi pia si watu walipikana. Hiyo lugha ilikuwa hapa Nairobi. Kama wasi wangechukuliwa tu wote wala walihusika eh. Alafu wapele kwa ile place mimi na yeye ningedaitua baki tu. Obaki tu uko. Na hayo ndo maoni ya watu kwa street. We are taking a short break now. We'll be right back. Kwa